Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. Today I'm going to show you guys a really fun shot, okay? But I would suggest that you only choose to hit this shot when you're in a situation that you're forced to, which is something like that. I'm in a situation where I hit my ball just short of the bunker. As we can see over here, I have a big bunker to carry and not much green to work with. We can see that the green is actually running away from us. So I want to hit a shot that it goes high and then landing soft and it doesn't run out that much. If I do choose to hit a normal pitching shot or a chip shot, it might run out about 20, 30 feet past the hole. We might have a long putt, but which is still okay. But then we're going to try to get it up and down. So I definitely think that this flop shot is a good shot to have in the back. The shot that I would like to share with you guys is what we call the flop shot, okay? This is a shot that we don't practice often, so I would like for you to make sure you try it on the practice area before you take it out on the golf course, okay? There's a few situations that I would suggest you to use the flop shot. One is when you have to carry a bunker and you have not much green to work with. The other one is you have to carry water or hazard. And the other one is you're hitting onto a very elevated green where the green is small and you don't have much green to work with again. I'm going to start with talking about the setup for this flop shot, okay? It's really important that we set up correctly in order to produce a solid and nice flop shot. So first of all, I'd like for you to pick the most lofted club in your bag. I have a 58 degree over here. You can choose the 60 degree, which is fine as well, all right? So first of all, we talk about club face. I'd like for you to set up with the club face slightly open, which is, I mean, just a little bit open. If this is 12 o'clock, just point it at one o'clock, okay? Then only you grip the club. You do not want to grip the club and then open the face, all right? You have to make sure you open the face first and then only grip the club, all right? So you're gonna grip the club with a slight open face and then now I'm gonna talk about the stance, all right? You're gonna stand a little bit wider, okay? And a little bit lower, okay? Stand wider, lower. Ball position is gonna be about just one ball left of middle, all right? Because the club face is open, I would like for you to make sure you set up just aiming stance, aiming left of target, okay? The club face is going to aim at the flag, body is going to aim just slightly left of target. When you get the grip, the club face, the stance, the posture all sorted out, just try to move the weight 60% to your left side and try to keep it there throughout the whole shot, okay? We do not want to sway, okay? If you start swaying, you might end up catching it behind or thinning the shot over the green, which is a shot that we do not want to see, okay? So weight 60% on the left side. I would like to add on one more thing is, I would like for you to push the butt of the club right side of your belly button. As we can see, when I do this, my left shoulder is a little bit lower, which is perfect. So it gets kind of like parallel to the ground because I see a lot of people setting up with the left shoulder really high. They're trying to pick the ball up like that when they want to hit a flop shot, but ended up topping it, okay? So we're going to make sure that the club head goes under the ball. So we're going to try to stay low and stay balanced. So club face slightly open, ball position middle left, weight on the left side, stay a bit lower, handle behind the ball. This is the flop shot setup position. All right, now we're gonna move on to the swing for the flop shot, all right? So when we get to a good setup position, I know that we, we try not to use too much wrist um, in some of the golf shots, right? But with this shot, we're gonna use a lot of our wrist, okay? So when you get to a setup position, I would like for you to hinge the wrist, all right? You're gonna literally feel like you're gonna hinge the wrist right away on the backswing, okay? So it's gonna look like that. You're gonna hinge right away on the backswing, but you gotta make sure that you maintain the loft of the club. You, you don't wanna hinge it this way with a sh shut club face. You're gonna make sure that you hinge with, with maintaining the open club face, which is maintaining the loft, okay? So that's really important. And the next thing is when we take our backswing, we gotta make sure that we maintain our weight on the left side. When I hinge, we do not want to move at all, okay? You don't, when you hinge, you make sure you don't move the weight to the right side, okay? So just keep the weight 60% on the left side, hinge the club. You can see that my chest is slightly turned as well. You can just let it be, but keep the lower body quiet. When I get to a nice setup position at the top over here, I gotta make sure that speed up on the downswing, all right? You do not want to slow down at any point. This is definitely a no-no for a flop shot, all right? So you gotta make sure that you speed up, okay? And when I speed up, I gotta make sure the club head is actually going through with my handle staying close to my body and letting the club head go first. You do not want to lead with the handle, 
okay we definitely do not want this position we're going to make sure you're literally going to feel like when the club head is coming down at this position okay when the handle is where the where your setup position is you're going to make sure the club head is going through first okay you're literally going to feel like the hands stop moving over here but the club head is still going through but you've got to make sure you keep turning you cannot just go up here and just flick this you're going to make sure you keep turning with the club head going through first okay when i swing through you got to make sure the club face is actually facing you you do not want to rotate the club head because this will produce a thin shot all right so you got to make sure when you swing through when the club head go first club face is facing you okay so i'm about 25 meters to the pin so for your normal chip your 25 meters might be just somewhat like that for the flop shot don't be afraid of making a bigger swing okay why is because we're sending the ball up in the air we're not hitting it low so don't be afraid to swing it faster with a bigger swing okay we're going to make sure that we open the club face slightly before we grip the club we're going to aim the club face at the pin and our stance is just going to be aiming slightly left of the pin or target ball position is going to be middle left weight 60 percent on the left side and i'm going to make sure that the butt of the club is pointing right of my belly button all right on my back swing I'm make sure i maintain the loft and then i'm going to swing through with the club head going first all right don't be afraid of producing a bigger swing and it's really important that you relax the wrist okay it's really important to relax the wrist wow Woo. <laughs> I'll take that. That's pretty much where I want it to end up. Hope this video will add another shot in your back. Save you some shot on the golf course in the future. Be brave, be confident, have fun on the golf course. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys again soon.